The next day, the excitement of the coronation was still uppermost on people's minds. Modern-day Cambodia is the successor to the mighty Khmer Empire, which ruled this nation from the 9th to 14th centuries. Today's royalty, ruling via a constitutional monarchy, has a strong part to play in the future. In countless villages like this one, families were huddled around TV sets watching the new king take the throne and the challenges ahead. Many of the young people here are learning English in school or in university. And this is the English lesson book here. Been, become, began, broken, bought, built, broad, caught, chosen, come. What is your name? My name is Chinda. Chinda. And how old are you? I am Bodhubay. You are very well. And you are 28? 28. 28. And you are learning English, yes? Yeah, I am. Well, life goes on. We also had to move along, heading up the river toward the province of Kampong Cham. This is the village of Bim Ji Kong. Now, it's home to around 100,000 people, which is more like a town, actually, than a village. They all live around the surrounding area. Some are fishermen, some are farmers, but many are traders here at the local markets. Well, as you can see, the morning markets are pretty busy here. And of course, living on the shores of a river, one of the local products here is fish. You'll also find a vast array of fresh vegetables and a sea of curious faces. Cambodia is home to around 13 million people and a big percentage of them live in small villages and towns like this one. The country is striving to catch up to its more prosperous neighbours, but that may take another generation since 50% of the population here is under the age of 15. The people of Cambodia are friendly, they're also open and everyone I met was more than happy to tell me their story. Our ship's arrival had drawn many of the local children down to the riverbank, where the tree branches offered a great viewing platform. But who was watching who? The shallow draft of the Pandal vessels has opened up areas normally inaccessible to tourists. That's allowed for a unique cultural exchange between people like me and the inhabitants of the region's river deltas. Our cruise continued through Kampong Cham Back on shore, we discovered a host of temples, some new, some dating back to the 12th century. But our real discovery was not in the past. Tucked into the rural setting, we found the local orphanage, and the children were waiting to greet us with a song and a dance. Many of the children here have families, but they are too poor to take care of them.
My name is Sutia. Sutia, how long have you been here? I have been here eight years. So you came here when you were a young boy? Yeah. So why did you come to the orphanage? Um, because um, my family and they do not possible to help me to uh, have me to school. So I came here by the organization that they took me here. Sutia showed me where he'd spent almost half his life and told me of his dream to one day have his own business. Thank you.